Uh, so we are in Death Valley National Park and we decided uh, to check out the West Side Road today, which is a 40 mile road that travels down the east side of the Panamint Range. There's a lot of uh, dispersed camping out there and random canyons to go up. So we're gonna go and just take a look and do some exploration. We're gonna head up uh, Hanapa Canyon. It has an amazing uh, view of the telescope peak escarpment up there. And it appears we have found the portal. This is where we're camping tonight. <laughs> they call this rock color desert varnish. And look at this little guy, he's found himself like a shell or I don't know what that is but look at that massive thing he's decided it's important enough to drag over these rocks so anyways these rocks are really cool you, know, you have this dark brown polish on one side and if you lift up the rock on the other side it's this oh look at what we found oh my gosh I don't know if you see that. <laughs> I was going to show you the other end of the rock, the other side, the orangey color. But look what we have there. That's why you always got to watch where you're putting your fingers, folks. We have a sleeping scorpion. I don't even think he knows we're here. So here we are having lunch. We found a great picnic spot with uh, the sugar encrusted telescope peak behind us. So one of the things I don't love doing is uh, picking up other people's trash, but um, you know, we're really fortunate to have these amazing lands. And so we're gonna pick up a little trash and feel good about ourselves and then head down and toss it out and leave this place a little bit better looking than it currently is for the next person who may want to camp here. So we've spent a couple hours here at uh, Hanapa Canyon. Um, I think we're ready to take off. We have a permit for a hole in the wall canyon so we're gonna go and do that and uh, see some new terrain but first we would make a short stop at the Dayton Harris gravesite so James W Dayton age 62 died near Bennett Wells August 1st 1898 and as for some years preceding he was caretaker at the Furnace Creek Ranch he made periodical trips to Daggett 160 miles away for supplies on each trip he set the date of his return invariably appearing at about the same time set. When he failed to appear on August 6, his set date, the superintendent sent two seasoned desert men, Frank Tilton and Dolph Navares, to learn the reason for the delay. After passing Bennett Wells, they found his wagon with the carcasses of his four dead horses fastened to the wheels by their tie ropes. Dayton's body was lying under a mesquite tree his faithful dog guarded it. The animal, being free to hunt water, had survived. Though weak from the lack of food and gnashed by the teeth of coyotes, which he had fought away from his master's body. Dayton was buried almost where he lay. Navaris, uh, relating the circumstances, said the only funeral service was an utterance by Tilton. Well, Jimmy, you lived in the heat and you died in the heat and now you've gone to hell. And I'm going to read you what's on the plaque here. It says, Bury me beside Jim Dayton in the valley we loved. Above me, right, here lies Shorty Harris, a single blanket, jackass prospector. Here lies Jass Dayton, pioneer, perished 1898. To these trailmakers whose courage matched the dangers of the land, 
This bit of earth is dedicated forever. So we made it to our camp spot in Death Valley. 